Welcome to part 6 of Steingate collab event. In order to save Kurisu, we reach the lab with the help of the Oasis and send another D mail to prevent the entropic attacks of Oasis. Now, it's the question if it worked. We see Mayuri with worried expression on her face. And Future Gadget's lab that actually does not look like very damaged. What happened next? And at the moment she is saved. Infinitely iterated superposition replay. As my consciousness returns, the familiar sight of the lab comes into view. Uh, the lab looks much better, actually, on the picture before. I shake my head, trying to tell my grooginess. As the ringing in my ears faded, I hear a girl, quiet weeping. Mayuri? Mayuri is sitting on the sofa, crying by herself. She seems to be holding something. Oh, Karin! It is only then I realize that the hand she is covering her face with is covered in blood. And the source of the blood is the tattered blouse the girl is holding, which is from Kurisu's clothes. Kurisu-chan, she... I have a bit feeling about this. After trying my best to keep the trembling in my voice under control, I ask Mayuri about the effects of the D-mail. What happened to Kuriso? Right, we actually sent email not really to prevent the Entropic's attack, we actually wanted to warn Kuriso from the second explosion. It's okay, Mayuri. Take your time and tell me. We can send email now. If there's a problem, we can fix it. So please, trust me and tell me everything, okay? Teardrops falls from Mayuri's eyes. She can no longer control her emotions and weighs loudly into my arms. Risu Chen tried to save me and the entropic around the corner. Entropics? Yeah, they were hiding in the shadows around the corner and Kurisu didn't notice it. But in the urgency to protect me. The sob so hard that she can't even speak anymore. All I can do is gently hug her and console her in a quiet voice. I wasn't expecting saving Kurisu to be easier or smooth sailing. Indeed, a setback like this is still within the range of what is acceptable. I compose another D-mail. Beware, big and hard, art next corner. All right? Thank you for telling me this, my Yuri. I should be able to save Kurisu with this. I will bring Kurisu back. So don't blame yourself anymore. In the harsh white light generated by the arcing electricity, I press the send button. A moment stays, 
my consciousness once again returned to my body within the lab. <laughs> uh, Iri, Kurisa, what happened to? The words cut in my throat. The scene before me is familiar. The same sofa with the same crying girl sitting on it. And the same blood stained blows in her hand. Oh, Karin! My words are interrupted by her sobbing. Ranting, I rush up and grab her. What happened to her? Tell me, Mayuri, what happened to Kurisu? On the way here, a building collapses. And Kuri Kurisu chan. A building collapses? Wasn't in the Anthropics that killed Kurisu? But no, it's a building collapses. What's going on with that? Why would Kurisu die of such an abstract case? Did email even stop accidents like this? Oh. Is what happened even an accident? No, 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 that isn't right. I, sh I shouldn't be like this. Oh, Karin? I ignore her weeping and walk right to the computer, then adjust the dimmer's send time. This time, the message reads Careful, a building collapse. Hang on, Mariuri. Carissa will be back soon. I push the send button. The world before me twists and disarts once more. No matter how I try to remind myself, once the white light that follows the message sending fades, I always end up seeing the same thing before me. Risu Chan fell in the pit. No, that isn't it. Oh, and another time. A huge stone fell from the sky? How oh, absurd. This isn't it either. It's getting redder and redder. The smell of blood in the room is thicker, binding me tightly like invisible chain. I jump from one word line to another, trying to escape my dilemma. The next one. I know Kuris will be alive in the next world. But all that awaits me is endless despair. Holy. Is, is, is it always the same number? The Enterprise Group! No. A piece of ricocheting shrapnel! No. Burning bridge! What the hell had. Do Oasis even have bridges? No. Some sudden changes there. A gun misfired! Not this again. Uh, the entropies are not even the cause of Kurisu's death anymore. One ridiculous way of dying follows another. They all sound like sick jokes. And even in, even if data space, we have the same fate. No matter which word line I jump to, Rusudes is always waiting for me there. 
as though all this was fated to happen. <laughs> Fate? Is Carissa's death ordained by the world itself? No, 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 no. I must. I have to. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be like this. Oh, Karin. Where is Chanchi? I don't catch the rest. My ears' voice reached my ears, but all I hear is her voice. And not the words. There's something about being ambushed in there. See. Oh, it was an ambush this time. It's okay, Mayuri. Man. Make it. Stop the Anthropics attack. Maybe this will help. Let, let just recall delay. It's like. Literally not the big issue. There's always next time. We just have to make it. <laughs> Walk next time. I press the send button. Always here 20 at the end. How many times had it been already? I don't even remember. After all, after all, there's always next time, right? As my consciousness returns, the familiar sign of the lab comes into view. And before is the same scene I have seen countless times before. Oh, Karin! Karisucha! She! I know. She's dead, isn't she? Oh, oh Karin! How did she die this time? The Anthropic? The Pit? Some trap she didn't see coming. It was the Anthropics. They were hiding in the corner that we didn't notice. <laughs> he said so. We are back to Anthropics again, aren't we? We'll just have to be careful of the next time. It's okay, Mayuri. Next time. We will avoid them next time. <laughs> I put my cell phone from my pocket. The black mirror of my phone screen reflects my zombie-like face. Why? My screen is black? No. No, no, this is not good. Still need to send d to save Kurisu. Let me write a message. Come on. Kurisu is still waiting for us. Hey, hey, hey. Do you hear me? Answer me! Damn it! Why? Why did things turn out like this? Come on. Don't, don't do this to me. No, no, not, not all of these times. Not right now. Don't you break on me now. Oh, Karin! Someone grabbed my hand and pulls on me. The girl's eyes are filled with tears. Oh, Karin, what happened? You can tell Mayushi about it. Mayushi might not get it, but Mayushi wants to help share part of Okarin's pain. Tears of regret and misery blow down my cheeks. I sob. Then I tell Mayuri. Everything that happened so far. From the event at the main cafe. To how Kurisu killed herself after becoming enterprised. To how I jumped from one world line to another. I pour out everything I have been keeping to myself. To the black haired girl before me. With nothing held back. All my redoses listen in silence. A hard look on her face. Even though I sent myself so many emails, why? Why can't I save Kurisu? 
I look at the cell phone in my hand and then rebug myself. It isn't broken, however, it's been used for so long that it's finally run out of juice. It should be usable once again, I charge it up. Right now I don't have the confidence to send the email like I did at the beginning. Oh, Karin. After listening to me, went my pent up emotion. She gently squeezes my hand. Why she doesn't understand? All those complicated science principles, but. Oh, Karin, you said. Just know that the reason you came to this world was because you sent the email to have Rico send the shipment earlier, right? Oh my god. Yes, yes. Yeah? Then doesn't that mean that if you didn't send the email, Kurisa wouldn't have there died? My redeemers can't be taken back once they send. I have considered your plan too, but the bond wave, and I am subject to change, can't do that at its current state of development. I see. If, if you could have Rico not bring forward the delivery, then you could go back to the previous world. How can I keep Rico from bringing forward the delivery? Myers' words instantly brings me to a realization. You're, you're right. I can't still do this. I can't take Demas back, but I can send another Demas to ask her not to do what the previous one said. That would effectively nullify the Demas. Oh, I don't know if that's so. It's, does it work in anime like this too? And the Kurisu can be saved! <laughs> Just then, someone throws open the door to the lab. Dina? Yeah. Miss Mayuri, Miss Akabe, the entropies have broken throughout the lab windows, be careful! The entropies monster slowly approaches us, its tentacle writhing. <laughs> Damn it! My, she won't let you pass! A gigantic metal upa appears from Mayuri's hand and hatches the entropics outside the windows. Leaves this place to Mayushi. Okarin, go help Kurisu-chan. Got it. I quickly enter Kurisu's email address into the computer linked to the phone wave, name subject to change. What was in that email I sent? I remember telling Senior, a lot of customers would be coming. The crowd coming. Th that was the reason why Xenia asked Rico to bring forward the delivery. In that case, no, no customer, you fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> I sent the phone wave. Name, name subject to change to the appropriate time. Then sent, lol, no customer, you fell for it. Hey, no way this will work. You don't, oh, it's so mean from this game. Oh my god. The white light appears again. This time, it represents hope in my eyes. Wait for me, Kuriso. Swear, I will save you this time. You should have done it in the first place! After I press the send button, the world before me wraps and it starts once again. An intense feeling of vertigo overcomes me. And I force my eyes open as a blinding headish strikes. My surroundings 
have not been eaten away by the Anthropic, but this is not the future gadget lab where we were. I look at the markings on the wall and realize where I am. Is this the Oasis base? Unlike the first time I saw it, the base before me shows no sign of being ravaged by entropy corruption. Even so, it doesn't look good. I can hear the sounds of gunfire and cannons in the distance. The agents around me have pale faces and are discussing how bad the current situation is. Mayuri, Mayuri, are you alright? Come down, Akabe. Mayuri is fine. Risu? Slowly turn back, and a head of red hair comes into view. All sounds vanished from my mind. All breathing halt in that instant. That person. I could never forget the person I crossed hundreds, if not thousands, of worlds to find. At last, she is before me again. Oh my god. Honestly, did you come back from the front lines with some kind of PTSD? <laughs> Still, suddenly calling my name gave me quite a shock. Huh? I rush over and take Kurisu into my arms. This is no illusion, and neither it's a lie created by my brain to cope with my misery. The warm sensation in my arms is the best proof that the girl before me actually exists. You, you, what the heck are you doing all of a sudden? Kurisu? Were my tears always this hot? Akabe? I'm sorry, Kuris. Sorry. I'm so glad to see you again. She ceases her struggles and let me cry all I want. Well, this isn't the usual Okaba I know. Wait a minute. Did you came from another ward line? How long do you think we know each other anyway? Did you think I wouldn't notice? Uh, yeah. I should have known you would. You must have come here for a good reason then, right? Although, I would very much to comfort you and tell you not to worry. No, it's not the time for crying. Okaba, you still have something you need to do, right? And with that, the girl gently pushes me away before striking a pause. <laughs> of course! Um, they get that right? As I look at her, the long-haired girl <laughs> springs back and looks embarrassed. I quit, quit staring at me. Oh, assistant, I would never strike a trinity post like the one you just did. <laughs> you, you are the one to talk? Anyway, are you calm down now, Kabe? My heart rate slowly levels off, and the grids of time begin to turn once again. Of course, the insane mad scientist Rintaro Kabe would never be defeated by this. I shall reconfigure the world. <laughs> Who do you think I am? I am the none other than Hoi Kiyama, the chosen of Steingates, the insane mad scientist. Yes, yes, it looks like there's no need to worry. Let's go look for the professor. Akabe, can you tell us about what happened before and after the world line shift? And that was what happened in my previous world.
I tell the people before me, uh, everything apart from queries of death, which I cover up. So you're saying that after you sent your D-mail at the lab, you arrived at the Oasis base. Uh, yes, that's it. Uh, something similar happened in the past. The D-mail I sent to Erika-san changed where we met her and I ended up appearing somewhere else. What I was said about sending a D-mail so as to keep May Queen plus Nya squared from running out of stocks align with what we remember. I swear this name does not roll off a tongue. The difference is that even though you sent Xenia the D-mail, there was no word line shift. Shortly after that, the Oasis was invaded by Entropix and things ended the way they did now. That's definitely different from what I remember. Oh, comrade, how is the Oasis doing? While the Oasis has been attacked by the Entropic just like in your memories, things are not as bad as the previous word line you were telling us about. Can or Oasis please take a break for at least one patch? Like major patch, I guess. The Anthropics didn't silently spread from inside and their attack was delayed. The professor operates a console and brings up information about the Anthropic disposition. However, the situation still does not look good for the Oasis. We have lost many regions to the Anthropics and many people have died? Okay, Persicara is not happy about this. The air around us turns heavy. Looks like I managed to negate the D-mail, sent to Rico to bring their delivery forward and return to the previous word line. But why was the Oasis still attacked in this word line? Everything was clearly peaceful when I sent the D-mail in May Queen plus Nya squared. Okabe, did you mention this word lines before? Yes, in the previous word line, I used John Hito's theory to convince Green Held to let me send a D-mail. The structure of this word is like a length of yarn running throughout all of human history. It may seem like there's only one strand, but on closer inspection, the yarn is made of multiple threads twisted together. So you're saying that each thread is a word line? Indeed, they represent various possibilities. Among these threads, in the timeline where the antique PC didn't break. Ah, oh, that's such an accessible analogy that I can't believe you actually came up with it, Okabe. You can use D-mail to move between these word lines, and that action is called shifting between word lines. All right, I understand the principle behind it. But according to your theory, Will it really be okay to shift between word lines? Won't it cause problems? Oh, you bet it, it will. Relax, like I said, while the threads represent different paths, they all converge into one in the end and reach the same conclusion. Don't tell me that Oasis was okay. I mean, who would you surprise Oasis get attacked again? Looks like I taught Kurisa about that too in this word line. You're right. I didn't actually come up with that theory and analogy though. John Taito told me that. Can you explain this converge into one thing in more details? Like I said before, different strands or different word lines will ultimately converge into one. They may go through different events, but ultimately they will all reach the same outcome. The range of word lines that 
all convert to the same outcome is known as an attractor field. At first, that was nothing more than a theory for me. But after experiencing Jesus' countless death, I have to admit that it is part of how the world works. Word lines with the same attractor field will all converge on certain important events. As long as you are within the attractor field, there's no way to avoid those events. That's right, John Taito should have said something similar on Ed Channel, and he even got into an argument about it with someone. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, his name was... Oh, that's not necessary to mention right now, isn't it? Oh, I, re I, I, I remember it. Hey, what's got into you all of a sudden, assistant? Uh, what, whatever. In any case, despite coming to this world line, the Oz's got invaded anyway. In that case, perhaps getting attacked by Anthropix is a convergent effect of this attractor field. If that's the case, then doesn't that mean we can't change this outcome? That might not be the case. The situation right now is definitely better than what happened in the previous world line. So the only variable in the two world lines was Okabe's demon then. Okabe, what were the content of the demon that sent you to previous world line and brought you back from it? The two demons I sent to Xenia were Big crowd coming tell Rico to hurry, and law no customers, you fell for it, respectively. I guess the second successfully negated the first. Ah, huh? could it be? Oh my god, they get it and I don't? The eyes both go wild. Uh, wh what happened? <laughs> what are you all doing all of a sudden? Okaba, I think I know the case of the Anthropic attack. After considering the Anthropic's outbreak was brought forward in the previous world line, and that you got there by telling Rico to uh, edit the delivery, it would seem this Anthropic attack is related to Rico's delivery. Indeed. Maybe the Anthropics snuck into the others when Rico entered, or maybe they were hiding amongst Rico's cargo. Anthropics are evolving. I see. That would explain the change in the timings and methods of the invasion. But how did the Anthropics bypass the Oz's detector? We still don't know. Normally, we would have picked them up the moment they entered the oasis, and they would have been wiped out before they could spread too far. Professor, do you think the entropies have learned some way to hide themselves from detection? Wait, from hide themselves from detection? Oh no, no, no. Do we go back to Lukaku and the detector thing too? Is this, is it Litz? One after another? That would be really troublesome if that were the truth. It would not be just a threat to the others. If we don't figure something out soon, it might end up endangering all of Magrassi. In any case, thank you for buying us time, Okabe. Just leave the rest to us. We at the Oasis will do our best to keep all of you safe. Professor about to save the day. Oh, yes. Uh, where are the others? Where are Mayuri and the rest? The others are in the break room. I will take you to meet them now. Oh, Karin! Mayuri, guys, are you okay? Paris is fine. 
I'm glad to see Kiyoma and Christina so full of life. What about Daru? Where is Daru? Oh my god. Lukak, what happened? Daru-san is helping to show up the other's defense with Anna-san. He is very safe, so there is no need to worry, Kiyoma-sensei. Ah, I do have one thing I need to apologize to you for, Kiyoma-sensei. I had to use Samidara to fight in order to cover everyone's retreat. Lukaku holds up the broken 980 yen model sword to me, his eyes full of guilt. I sincerely apologize for breaking the treasure you entrusted me with, Kiyoma sensei. Don't say that. It's not your fault, Lukaku kun. Exactly, Nya. Paris was entranced by your performance just now, Lukak Nya. That's the Saint Shin Hanma school for you. It cuts bullets apart so easily. You were really cool when you stood up to protect everyone, Lukak kun. My, she's really grateful. Everyone. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I, Pen Kiyama. Expected nothing less from my star disciple. It seems you protected everyone in my absence. Do not worry. It's alright even if Demon Sword Samidare was broken. Something like this happened before in the previous world line, and we sent a email to fix Samidare. Back then, you were mistaken for a bad guy who has broken a security detector. And you ended up fighting with Erika. And now we are noticing that security detector was broken because of Lukaku. A broken security detector? The incidents from the previous world line pressures throughout my mind, along with the discussion from just now. But how did Entropix bypass the Oasis detectors? We still don't know. Normally, we would have picked them up the moment they entered the oasis, and they would have been wiped out before they could spread too far. Earlier, I received a report about a security detector in the oasis malfunctioning. Am I right to assume it has something to do with this incident? Indeed, Lukaku-san was not registered with the oasis, yet... He did not trigger the security detector despite being an agent from outside the sector. So I went to investigate the matter. It once seems the detector was destroyed by artificial means, and I have asked the engineer department to repair it. Ain't no way. That's right. So that's what happened. After shorting it out, I inform everyone of my conclusion. Ain't no way. Oh my god, this time it's not the professor saving the day, it's it's Oin Kiyoma saving the day. Are we here on some plot of Anthropics attacking Oasis with malfunctioning direct uh, detector? So Luca crossing over broke the detector and the Anthropics used this loophole to silently infiltrate the Oasis. This is a good news for us. Looks like the Entropies have not learned to hide themselves from scans and detector. In other words, Erika-san and Kimi-san clashed with Lukaku-kun, which was how they learned the detector was broken. But after I sent a email, the professor saying, tell Eri and Kimi Luka is friend, Erika and Kimi did not fight with Luca, and they never discovered the detector was broken. Oh my god, we are, we're just going back again. Indeed it is, well done, my most favorite assistant. However, if we negate the D-mail, would we be able to pick up the Entropy's incursion? I think it's worth a try. 
But you need to return to the future gadget's lab to send a email, right? Unfortunately, I need to direct the battle. So I can't leave the operating room to go with you. Akaba, can I trust you with this important mission? <laughs> Leave it to me. Our comrade of mine, I, Karin Kiyama, shall turn this miracle into reality. In turn, I will be counting on you to give me combat modules. Why is she going to? Why she's worried about Okarin? Mayuri. I want to help Kiyomas say too. How? Oh. Don't push yourself too hard. Your wounds from just now haven't healed up yet, Lukakanya. But. Oh, Lukako, resting well is a very important part of your training. Paris, take care of Lukako for me. Got it, yeah? Mayuri, I will need to borrow your strength for the moment. Do -do -do. Leave it to Maishi. Christina! Christina, stay here and help the professor while keeping in touch with us. We must make sure this operation succeed. No, no, I am going with you. Huh? I'm sorry, Akaba. You should not have to bear this kind of pain. No, you have to stay here. And why is that? What is the reason? The reason is... That's right, you don't even know how to fight with operands. Try again when you are more experienced. Oh, that. There's no need to worry about that. With a fling of her wrist, she summons up several times more operands than I possibly could. <laughs> As she watches me stare dumbfoundedly at her, Chris Lu helpfully provides an explanation. I ask Pesicalia san to install combat. I ask Pesicalia san to install combat modules for me. While this is my first time using them, I think they are pretty neat. Kaba, do you have any other reason to stop me going? Uh. No means no. You need to stay in this place. <laughs> are you a great schooler trying to pick a fight or something? Risu signs in resignation. Akaba, so you... Her eyes go dull for a moment, and then they regain their resolve once again. Akaba, this isn't a time to you let your emotions to be talking. I am Lamp Bamba, after all. There's no time for your willfulness. The asses and my friends are in danger. Do you expect me to sit back and ignore them? I don't dare to look into those unyielding blue eyes of hers. After a brief standoff, I finally gave up. You are such an annoying assistant. Besides, given your personality, you would secretly sneak along even if I tried to stop you, right? What are you talking about? I just... Think that having a fool like you take on the mission of saving the world is an insult to my pride. <laughs> Besides, uh, this, this isn't exactly what uh, Professor said last episode. Larissa holds her hand out to me. I will help you send that email. So believe in me, Okabe. Deep dive deja vu. Those gays, was that?
Mysterious. Rintaro, Sheena, Erika, Mayuri, Erika, Evelyn, and Max Sakura, so. <laughs> Isn't this amount a bit too ridiculous? I didn't expect there to be so many entropies along the way. My she all tired and out. We will go scout ahead. You guys wait here for now. Alright. Thank you, Erika san. Damn it, the organization. Damn it, their unhanded ways. But it won't be enough for you to stop her and Kiyama. <laughs> we have finished scouting. The 3 o'clock direction is safe. Come with me. So we are heading this way. Mayuri? Ah? Ah? Ah, oh, come on. Spare thought for my stamina. Erika-san and the others are here already. Come on, Okabe. Run faster. <laughs> Give me a break already. Right now, I'm running. Through the ruins with Kuriso and the others. The future gadget's lab is just as that building up ahead. Put your bags into it. Wait. A building? Hang on. Isn't that ruined building the cafe? A cover? No. Something is not right. Everything that happened now seems strangely familiar. I look around, but I see no sign of danger. No, there can't possibly be any danger here. Things are different from before, aren't they? I reached the base successfully, where it was still alive, and things are looking up for the others. Should be alright. There shouldn't be any problems, right? Okaba? Uh, it's nothing. I'm probably worrying too much. Princess Chan, there's a horde of entropies over there. Is there some way for us to go around them? This is the only intact road that leads to the base. Are there other roads? are either blocked by rubble or entropic. It's too dangerous. Let's find another way to go around that entropic. This is the only intact road that leads to the base. Are the other roads either blocked by rubble or entropics? My blood running cold in my veins. Wait a minute. Did you mention the base just now? Hmm, that's strange. Why did I call it the base? There's a blank look on Kurisu's face. It's plain to see that even she doesn't know the reason why she did that. However, I have traversed countless word lines and know why. The words malice is preparing to strike at Kurisu. As if I let that happen again. I grab Kurisu's hand and run back the way we came. We're heading back right now. Run, assistant. You too, Mayuri. This way, quickly, hurry. Okarin, Okarin, what's the matter with you? Wait, Okabe. We just came from here. Don't you care about the lab? I have neither the inclination for time to explain myself. We will talk about it later. Just follow me. It's more important to keep you safe. Akaba. Risa stops speaking. She simply jogs to match my running space. 
just where, where have everything gone wrong? Even though I escaped that infinite prison, even though I saw Kuriso again after cancelling that email, is there really no way to change Kuriso's fate? Doubt and uneasiness well up in my heart. But at the same time, I harbor hope in my heart that all this might just be me imagining things. Because Chris is still alive and her hand is in mine. Even if that malice is really there, I still have room to take things back before it's too late. All we can do now is get back to the other space as fast as possible. Since we have already scouted this route before, there shouldn't be any day. Ah, she, she, she. The sudden change stunned me. Entropic? But if there's only one. And then, as though to crush my hopes, the world's malice bears its vicious fangs. One, two, three. More and more entropies appeared from around the corner and blocked out the path. Crap, I didn't expect them to ambush us. My mind goes blank? An ambush? Why is there an ambush here? Isn't the oasis base right in front of us? However, these entropies have completely blocked out the route in front of us. Their numbers and the efficiency of their movement makes me think like there's someone deliberately sending them after us. Even though we are so close, even though we'll be fine if we can just get past them. Akabe, we have nowhere to run now. All we can do is gather our strength and break throughout their encirclement. There is no doubt that her solution is the best one. But at this rate, she might end up... Kurisu, let me be the bait. <laughs> the entropics don't give us time to discuss the matter. After giving voice to a disheartening role, they launch at us. Damn it. Even though I'm... Frantic and uneasy, all I can do is hit Chris's instructions. We focus all our attacks on a single point and try to break throughout the corridor. Ah, that hurts! Mayuri? I I'm okay. Don't worry, Kaba. No 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 The entropy's attack grows more and more vicious. As the healing slows down, our bodies are covered in wounds of variety extents. Just then, Pop appears. Our attack managed to break the heart in front of us. Only for a moment, but it's enough for us to break throughout the encirclement. We are already showing Mayuri throughout the gap and past the entropics. Okay, but run! Hurry, do it now! No, Kurisu, give me your hand! Oh, Kurisu? But I am too late. The world around me suddenly goes quiet. Myra's voice, the sound of the entropics, they all seems far away from me now. A warm liquid splashes into my face. Just as I'm about to reach out and touch it, a girl covered in blood falls into my arms. This is absurd. 
It's so absurd that I can't even bring myself to laugh. But no matter how much I scream or cry, the girl in front of me does not respond. Once again, the word pushes the pause button on the life of Kurisu Makise. Why? Why is this? Why? Oh, Karin? Oh, Karin? Let's... Let's go back to the base. The professor might know how to save Kurisu-chan. No. I slowly shake my head. There are no other options. We need to go back to the future gadgets lab. We need to get to the lab and send a D-mail. This is the only way to save Kurisu. The entropy hearts surrounds us once again. I grab Myri and we dash towards the future gadgets lab again. We arrive at the lab entrance where Erika and the others are fighting a grueling battle against the Anthropics. You are here at last, hurry! Where... Where is Kurisu-san? A sad look spreads across Kimi's face as she realizes why Myri and I are silent. Can we enter the lab now? We have wiped out all the entropics, but we still have some at the doorway. I try to get the attention of the one of the entropics at the doorway, but it doesn't even seem to feel my attacks. And I can't do the slightest bit to damage it. As my wits end, I yell in anger and channel all my might into one last hit. The monster stops moving after my blow connects and I collapse to one knee, unable to remain standing. Oh, Karin! A giant up appears behind me and blocks an attack. And then, the black-haired girl Reach a hand out to me. Give this place to my Shi. Okarin, go save Kurisu Chan. Give it to me. I will make sure I bring Kurisu back. I won't disappoint Mayuri. I take her hand and get back to my feet. I step into the lab. I have seen the ruined interior so many times that it doesn't even rise a ripple in my heart anymore. I start up the D-mail apparatus as quickly as I could. Several minutes later, the familiar electric arcs are crackling in front of me again. All right, now for the contest of the D-mail. I start with the D-mail to have Rico cancel the shipment. If the source of the entropic attacks really is inside Rico's shipment, this ought to stop the entropization. I enter. Rico's shipment is bad. Cancel it. Into the message field and then press the send button. However, nothing happened. Reading Steiner did not activate like it did before. As I thought, the problem won't be solved so easily. In that case, I would better tell the professor that Lukaku broke the OAS security sensor. That way, the battle won't be as bad as it now. I changed the recipient on the computer to the professor. Now, for the message content. Tap, tap, tap. A strange yet rhythmic sounds come from the stairs, coming closer and closer to the lab. Myri? Are those footsteps? Myri? 
Meyer, is it you? I reflexly turn to open the door to take a look. Right before I touch the handle, I suddenly sense something is off. It's too quiet. At some point, the sound of gunfire and the roars of the entropy have vanished. Strange, yet rhythmic sounds come from the stairs. It's moving closer and closer to the lab. That's why the sounds of the footsteps are so distinct. How they so easily caught my attention. Yep. The footsteps stops at the doorway. My fingertips are so numb that I'm sure that there's no way I can finish the demail before the other party opens the door. I swear, this is so much like the anime. Just then I notice a nearby pile of stuff. The collection of the fruits of the lab's wisdom. That's right, if I use that. Right at that moment, the door before me is cut in half by some external force. Take this! I hit the switch of the future guard's number 004. Mount Snake. Although it's basically nothing more than an instant humidifier that only runs for a few seconds. It's just enough to buy me some time. White mist instantly fills my vision. Luca broke all the security sensor. Just then, the activated phone wave name start change finally begins acting. The electronic current dances throughout the room, announcing my victory. <laughs> <laughs> you are too late. I look at the silhouette before me. My instincts tell me that the person standing before me right now is the culprit behind all of this. Even though their face is hidden by the heavy mist, I can still make out the bare teeth on its face. The likes of you will never be able to stop me? I get a clear look at what the black figure is dragging behind it. Oh my god. Ah? Uh, Mayuri? As the girl hears my voice, slowly opens her eyes. Blood spills from her mouth. It's only then that I notice that her throat has been ripped away, leaving only a yarning black void in its space. Even so, the girl's lips are still opening and closing. Oh my god, stop it! Now conscious thoughts went into forming these words. She's moving them out of pure instinct. Ah! Ah! Murderous bloodlust seized control of my body. But all I can do right now is press the send button. My consciousness fades along with the world before me, leaving nothing but endless rage and regret in its wake. Oh, what did we just witness? Yeah, I'm so happy to see them here right now, but the question is really for how long will it remain like this? Ah. Uh.
the pain fades and the world once again comes into view. Is this the Oasis Bosses? My last memory before the world line shifted flashes through all in my mind. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Anger and regret rises inside me, along with a search of nausea. Akava, are you alright? Oh, Karin, are you alright? Risa, Mayuri. I draw the two of them into my arms as I weep. Eh? What are you doing? Oh, Karin, what's wrong? Are you crying? Thanks, Godness. Mayuri, Kuriso, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, Karin? Mayuri gently pats my head in a consolation. After some hesitation, Kurisu decided to pat my back. It's okay, Okarin. It's okay now. Akabe, did you come from another world line? While I don't know what you went through, it's alright now. So get a good rest. Kurisu. Kurisu. What the other situation like now? What about Entropix? What about the security detector? How about the other lab members? What happened to my comrade? Where are they now? Calm down, Akabe. Right now, we are relatively safe. Let's go look for the professor. You can tell them everything you know. I see. No wonder I got such a weird email. Thanks to that email, we discovered the damage detector ahead of a time. All that was thanks to you, Akabe. No, I didn't do anything. Ultimately, I was merely correcting the mistake I made beforehand. Lukaku! A present, Yama-sensei. Is something the matter? Sorry to have gotten your heart. As for Somidare, I will find some way to make it up for you in the future. Oh, please don't worry about it, Kyoma sensei. While I cherish Demon Sword Samidare as a treasure, the other are even more irreplaceable to me. Lukako, friends are vital. You must always remember that. Never forget it. Um, am I right, Kyoma sensei? L L L Psy Kangalo? It's Congo! Ah, indeed. As the disciple of Hyo and Kiyoma, you must always make your friends your top priority. Oh, Lukaku, it seems you have grown a lot during this time. Keep doing your best from now on. I, I, I will. Now then, my comrade, how fares to the front? Thanks to the security detector giving us advance warning, we managed to respond to the entropic attack immediately and come up with a proper battle plan. Right now, our forces are fighting outside the oasis. However, the entropics are numerous and the battle is sure to be a tough one. According to your account, this was not an accident. We will find the leader location as fast as possible. The leader. The anger that I only just forgot returns with a vengeance. He is the one who... I won't forgive him. This time, 
I will wipe him out with my own hands and protect Mayuri and Kurisu. Oh, that's us. My comrade, I have a request to make. Let me take part in this battle. This time, I will return triumphant. It's me. I press my cell phone to my ears. The situation is urgent. I have run into some troubles. I look at the two girls. Trouble? Who exactly are you calling trouble? Aye, she is Ocarina's hostage. You know about the situation, right? According to my plan, those two ought to be in the base. So, why are they on the battlefield with me? It is just a coincidence? Or is it the hand of the organizations at work? <laughs> My, she couldn't leave Ocarin alone, so my, she snuck out to find Ocarin with Kurisu-chan. I suppose my answer is acceptable. But what about Christina? What? She wants to capture an evil Anthropix for experiments? What? What? Frightening. Interest she has. Truly an experiment loving girl. I will cut your skull open and suck your brain in pomelado vinegar. See if I don't. Godness, you really are a handful. What kind of person says will return triumphant and then vanishes all of a sudden? Fortunately, yeah. I had Miss Persicala keep an eye on your location, so you could not give us the slip. Mm-hmm. So you did that, Kurisu chan? Oh sister, are you stuck by any chance? W what the heck? It's not as though I'm concerned about you or anything. Fucker. I just thought that letting a door like you run off to save the world by yourself would damage my pride. Hey, I'm not a dog. I'm an insane mad scientist. Ah, Ocarin, where is chan We have almost reached the Entropic's location. I looked at the cheerful girl standing in front of me. In this world, Neither of them has set foot on the battlefield before. They have no idea what kind of hell they are walking into. Kurisu, Myria, you need to be mentally prepared for this. This is a real battlefield. Also, you must take care of yourselves. No matter what happens, make sure you stand well back. My, she understands? As if I need to tell you me that. Why are you so serious all of a sudden anyway? Although they seem a little puzzled by my request, after seeing the look of my face, they both nod. Compared to before, the Entropics didn't manage to break into the others, and my comrade already has a plan. Although he seems to have the upper hand now, Think back to my experiences from the past few worlds lines and to wow not to get careless. I need to take care no matter what I do. I can repeat the same mistakes of the past. Right now, there's only one thing I must do. This time, I will protect both of you. Okaba? My, she believes Ocarin can do it. But don't push yourself too hard, okay, Ocarin? Yeah, I promise you that. With that, 
finish this episode. Oh, what an emotional episode. Looks like there's still there's still some fate that is bound to it. The fate that this world line and Magrassi in general seem to be a Uh, fate of the girls where they sadly does not exist at some point I think I need to go back to the HA uh, to the previous world line with the number 16 we will, we will be able to do it the next episode that's what we will find there out. As for this episode, I thank you much for watching and listening. I have to settle to say that there will be no music throughout all of the episodes, looks like. I don't know how to fix this issue. But yeah, I wish you a good day, night, afternoon. And see you in episode 7. Have a good one.